CBS News Bay Area. This is the Evening Edition. Now at 11, the great debate is over almost before it began. Governor Newsom names the person who will be filling the seat of the late Senator Dianne Feinstein. Then how a world-famous ballet dancer with ties to the Bay Area is using film and dance to draw attention to key issues. We made this film for the community um, that I think should be highlighted as an issue. And this week could see the biggest walkout in history by U.S. nurses. We'll tell you what they want and what it means if their demands aren't met. Good evening, I'm Brian And I'm Andrea Cano. It's been just over two days since the death of Diane Feinstein. We now know who will fill her seat for the next 13 months. It's an old friend of the governor's, LaFonza Butler. She will go from being the president of something called Emily's List to being a senator from California. According to Politico, she is registered to vote in Maryland and based in D.C. Her work involves fundraising for pro-choice female Democratic candidates. And she could be one herself since Newman did not put any, Newsom did not put any restrictions on her joining the crowded field running for the permanent Senate seat in California. Butler has a deep background working for unions and with the announcement, Newsom delivered on his promise to give the job to a black woman. Butler will now be the only black female in the Senate and the first openly gay one. Newsom said tonight she has always stood up for what is right and he's confident that she will be able to carry the baton left by Senator Feinstein to break glass ceilings and fight for all Californians. Nobody knows if Butler will run for the full term next November, but incumbents hold a powerful advantage over their rivals. And their rivals are three other prominent Democrats in the race, Bay Area Congresswoman Barbara Lee, along with Representatives Adam Schiff, and Katie Porter, presumably Republicans, will also field a Senate candidate. We also know that Senator Feinstein's body will lie in state at San Francisco City Hall this Wednesday. The public can come to pay their respects ahead of her funeral on Thursday. Anyone can visit between 9 and 7. Her funeral will not be open to the public, but it will be streamed. In other news tonight, dozens of California law enforcement agencies and district attorney offices are about to get millions of dollars to fight organized retail crime. Here in the Bay Area, 13 law enforcement agencies are getting a slight so that $267 million state grant, along with four local DAs. The money will go towards things like surveillance equipment, security staffing, and tackling vehicle theft. Oakland did not receive the grant money because city officials missed the deadline to apply. All of this comes as a new poll finds people living in the Bay Area are rapidly losing faith in their downtowns. Max Darrow reports that while the poll is pretty downbeat, he did find two tourists who are relatively happy. Anthony could do.